The planning board met Monday night in room 12 of Town Hall. The meeting began with Debbie Holmwood resigning from her position on the board as she intends to run for selectman seat in the upcoming town elections. She will stay on as a representative until the conclusion of the election. The first hearing of the night concerned a site plan approval for a multifamily development at 12 to 14 Day Street. This is the first hearing that applies under the new Mixed Use Overlay District, or MUOD bylaw, that was passed during a special town meeting in May of 2019. After the applicant's presentation, both parties discussed a figure of $13,200 of public benefit as a result of this application. And so um, we're going we're to go to that, uh, and you are going to let us know on where you are on that uh, town benefit? Uh, or have we settled that? We have not settled that as of tonight, right? Not yet? You good with it? 13-2? <laughs> I think I hear him okay. gulping very hard. <clears throat> okay. Well, there you go. Thank you. Uh, is that agreeable? Uh, Let me ask you on the, on the board. Is that agreeable? Yes. Yes. Any chance of negotiating? Well, uh, we'll I'm not good in negotiation. Sure. Okay. Good. That's. Later in the meeting, the board approved a site plan review on 429 Neponset Street and modification plans to the Space Center area on 83 Moore Street. The planning board will meet again on February 10th. The Sustainability Committee was the other meeting of Monday night in Room 24. Mark Ryan joined the committee to give a presentation on the DPW's Solid Waste and Recycling Program. Ryan urges the public that what's even better than recycling is reusing, as it's an even more cost-efficient practice. The committee went into more housekeeping items after the presentation, including subcommittee reorganization and outreach ideas, including a social media presence to get more information about their sustainability initiative back to the residents. The Sustainability Committee's next meeting will take place in the coming weeks. Following up from last week's meeting, the Board of Selectmen again discussed the potential name change of the office from Board of Selectmen to Select Board. My opinion, if we have a non-binding referendum, the people vote. And based on inf that information, it goes then to town meeting. When the town meeting members take the question, they now have something to work with. They have some idea of what the people want. And some people may say, well, only 12% or 14% of the population voted. Shame on the ones that didn't. I say it again this week. Uh, so if it goes to town meeting, they will have an opportunity to understand the vote of the non-binding referendum and, and govern themselves accordingly. The Board of Selectmen are asking the residents of Nord to voice their opinion on the name change via non-binding referendum on April's ballot. The final decision will rest with town meeting in May. Okay, we have a motion to change the name, uh, send it to a, let me strike that, to send a non-binding referendum forward, changing the name of the Norwood Board of Selectmen to the Norwood Select Board. That will mean that there will be a non-binding referendum on the ballot and those results will go to town meeting and they will govern themselves accordingly at that time and do the right thing, I suppose. So with that said, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Passed. The Board of Selectmen also met with Police Chief Brooks and Fire Chief Maurice to submit their monthly department reports and held a joint meeting with the Planning Board to elect Associate Planning Board member Brian Hatchie to interim member, filling a vacancy left by Debbie Holmwood's resignation. The next Board of Selectmen meeting will be February 4th. Also on Tuesday night, the Trails Advisory Committee met with a busy agenda. The committee began with an update on completed walks that were taken by the members. Following the trail walk discussions, the committee as a whole was updated by the various subcommittees. The topics discussed were the trail mapping, then the trail marking and construction. To end the meeting, the committee covered their next trail walks and items to discuss during future meetings. The next Trails Advisory Committee meeting will be February 11th. For complete government coverage, tune into the NCM Government Channel or watch on demand at nordcommunitymedia.org.